Hey there, my name is Anastasia. Right now you're watching this video on your computer or phone screen, but I can look only at the camera. I'm almost alone right now. Are there many of you? A family? A company? Or just you? I don't have a clue. But right now you feel happy, either sad or annoyed. You're breathing listening to me and thinking about what I will say next, right? And if you watch this, you're alive. Do you have any plans for today? For tomorrow? Probably you just want to hang out with your friends or visit your relatives. But is it really going to happen? Just imagine that situation. You want to go for a walk with your best friend. You write a message to him or her, let's go out. And sometime a second one, then the third, etc. No answer. So your plan with the walk failed. Not that bad. The next day you write to this person again asking if you can meet with them today. But there are still unseen messages which you sent yesterday. You don't know. Why doesn't he or she answer? It seems that everything is okay. The first thought in your mind is that this person doesn't want to talk to you anymore. So you feel angry. What's wrong? You think. Another week, a month is gone. Oh, you're still waiting for his or her message. But it's too late. A suicide. It's really hard to realize, isn't it? So little time is needed and the person is dead. You start praying it's just a joke. Your friend will be online some late, says to you like, hi, I'm just awful of you. <laughs> and you will wanna bash this person head and with this. Over time you will realize that is not. Then you just, Ask yourself the same question. What's wrong? Suicide is a really big problem for our community. Yep, community. It affects not only teenagers. Most of all, it involves teens, but there are many elders here. <laughs> we don't have as serious problems as adults have, yep. Wish it was so. Despite that fact that grown-ups have already lived more, this doesn't negate the fact that teens also have a serious problems. You were as we are now, so you know what I'm talking about. In the beginning, I was talking about my friend. He tried to commit a suicide not so long ago. I'm not going to talk about this in details, but the reason of ending his life it wasn't worth it. He couldn't manage stress that was building up. At some point, he gave up. He stopped thinking about those people who supported him in any way. He focused just on the worst. I'm not even sure he read at all the pros and cons before. But was it that bad? Did the situation really have no exit? He just tried to end his life thinking that it would be better for everyone else. For whom? Who is this everyone else? His mother? Or father? Maybe brother? They were expecting him to come back home. They were worried, thinking, oh God. Where is my son? I've been waiting for him for a long time. Mom, where is my brother? I wanted him to play with me this evening. It would be better for them or for the friends who were waiting for him to go for a walk. Would we be happy because of his death? Why is he worse than others? 
Why did he start to believe that someone like him shouldn't live on this planet? All people are identical differently. Dean's psych can handle bullying. As a result, it makes us depressed, so we don't see any other option except to kill ourselves. And no one actually knows about this until it's too late. That moment he called and told me what happened, my hands started shaking. I didn't even immediately realize that it was not a joke. He apologized many times. He said that he was scared. And me, was I scared, did you think? And I'm not even a member of his family, just a friend. I was no longer listening to him at some point. I was just trying to realize if this was happening to me right now. Guys, he's lucky. He survived. But can you imagine what was happening to each of us who understood what's going on? Can you imagine what would happen if the luck wasn't on his side? I don't even want to think about it. The inevitable price we pay for our happiness is eternal fear to lose it. It was the biggest fear for me. Fear of loss. The main question I wanted to ask him was, and what must have happened then? After you kill yourself. The answer from a friend's words. I couldn't understand what I am doing. I didn't care about it. Then he shared with me his first thoughts after the committed. I realized that I didn't say goodbye to everyone. No. No, I don't want to lose even one from my friends. He said. I hear his voice breaking. Everyone knows that feeling when there is a person in front of you who is about to cry. If you can't imagine when I'm talking about someone else, then wait. Have you personally ever thought about the suicide? Maybe it's painful or unpleasant, but you think it will help you and relax your problems. Sure. You know what? Close your eyes. Don't beep. Three, two, one. And you died. Can you see anything? Is it funny there? Well, I'd like to know something about you. But you can't answer my questions. I'd like to know about your family, your friends, your lover. It's a pity that you can't laugh anymore, but you can't regret it, actually. It's getting cold here, but you are lucky. You don't feel the cold. And now worms can't make you happy either. Don't you get bored? Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> Are you alive there? Why don't you answer me? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Don't you like the joke? Why aren't you laughing? Can you say anything? No? Just tell your loved ones that you love them. Come on, appreciate their attention to you. You can't. You have no chance for this. Do you have any friends? Did anyone confess their love to you? Have you been told about someone who can die for you? 
Maybe they didn't have the courage for this. And maybe this person is gonna cry at night? Because it's too late to help you. Life with the moment. Appreciate it. You won't be alive more than you have to be. You can open your eyes. And now you are able to answer some questions. Were you alive a hundred years ago? And will you be alive in a hundred and fifty years? The answer is no. How old is our planet? Billions years old. You were born in the best time. You can do everything you want to. And you have unlimited possibilities now. As I've said in the beginning, I'm almost alone right now. But it doesn't mean that I will be alone then, when I leave this room. The same is true for all of us. Just look around. There are too many people there. Anybody from them can become your future. One day you will leave this world. So live a life you would love to remember. A lifetime of happiness. No man alive could bear it. You can handle these little problems on your way to glory. Think, is it worth it? To lose the experience which is waiting for your head? People who will be with you then and those who are with you now. In the days you've got to be happy. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Thank you.